Welcome to the Now Space location of July 2nd, 2022, and this edition of Now Space News. I'm your host, Colin Jason Hyphen Matthew Colin Glass, and what we're going to do here is go over some headlines that I've pulled throughout the week from some mainstream sources, and we're going to look at them. We're going to keep up to date on what's going on on Earth, as well as learn a little bit about the grammar. Uh, specifically correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar. So let's begin with this headline, which is taken from the EBRD, which is the European Bank of Reconstruction and Distribution, I think that's what it is. Uh, but it says EBRD EU Rafesen to support greener leasing in Kosovo. What are they saying in this headline? They're going to support greener leasing in Kosovo. Well, what they're actually saying is EBRD is a pronoun, EU is a pronoun, Rafferson is a pronoun, two is future tense adverb, which is modifying support into an adjective, which is coloring greener into an adjective. Leasing is a pronoun. Nothing can follow a pronoun except for a break in the continuance of the evidence or an adverb, and in this case, it's the latter. In is an adverb modifying Kosovo into a dangling participle verb. Why is it a dangling participle verb? Well, first of all, because it's being modified by adverb in, which is non-tangible contract, and what is a verb? A verb is thinking. It's cogitation. And there's nothing left to think about. So therefore, it's just dangling there, ladies and gentlemen. But it has a 10 million pound package, uh, support for leasing, solar panels, partial investment grants. I wonder what the interest rate is on that stuff. The next headline comes from the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs, Office of Inspector General. Failure of leaders to address safety, staffing, and environment of care concerns at the Tuscaloosa VA Medical Center in Alabama. So I guess there's been a failure on the parts of the leaders to give an address to safety, staffing, and environment uh, that has to do with care concerns at a medical center, at a veterans medical center in Alabama. And as you can see, we see a pronoun, we see an adverb, verb, adverb in the future tense, adjective, pronoun, and then there's a break in the continuance of the evidence with the comma, and then we have a pronoun, and and which normally would be a conjunction, but it is not in this case because it's not functioning as a conjunction. It's not connecting anything because it's preceded by breaking a continuous of the evidence, i.e. the comma. So in this case, it's just a non-tangible contract adverb modifying care into an adjective. And then we have another adjective. Then we have a pronoun. Then we have adverb and then another group of adjectives finishing off with the pronoun center followed by non-tangible contract in, which is adverb modifying Alabama into yet another dangling participle verb. Next one. EBRDEU and precinct pro credit help Bosnian SMEs to go digital. So they want the European bank reconstruction wants Bosnian SMEs, whatever that is, to go digital. Well, why wouldn't they want to go digital? That's what I don't get about all these people who are so gung-ho about crypto. Because with crypto, everything, every transaction is recorded on the, on the blockchain. Anybody can look at it. So there is no such thing as a confidential uh, transaction. And once the uh, government gets their paws on that, and if physical currency is done away with, well, you'll see what happens. Looks like a bunch of adjective pronouns with a little bit of adverb thrown in there and the correct, uh, well, actually, the, 
The function of the conjunction is correct in this case. It's not correct because it's a fictitious conveyance of grammar, but it is functioning as a conjunction in the syntactic sense that it is a bridge between these two adjectives, EU and pro credit. And we might as well take a look at the uh, particles of negation, the obvious ones. PRO means no. And uh, of course, a vowel in front of a consonant means no. And we have EBRD. However, EU is two vowels, which is positive performance. And then we have A in front of N and AND, and that is particle of negation. This one comes from the Free Press Report. Ken Griffin gives up dysfunctional Chicago. So Ken Griffin, whoever that fellow is, if he indeed he indeed is a fellow, uh, you know, these days, I guess pronouns are very important. No, no, no's are very important. He's giving up Chicago, I guess, because it's dysfunctional. We got adjective, adjective, pronoun, Adverb, adjective, pronoun. Next headline. This one comes from of the Mark hyphen lowercase k Kishon with the Christopher. And I know the title, what really is bond market, is in italics. Um, I will syntax, as a, syntax it as if it weren't. So we have pronoun, adverb, adjective, adjective, pronoun. And then in the description of the video, let me get myself out of the way here where it would be a perfect place for someone who claims to be some sort of kahuna with a correct sentence structure to demonstrate their correct sentence structure knowledge. But instead, what do we get? We get adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble. We have for, which is a for, followed by adverb, the, adjective, strong, pronoun in the past tense, hearted. And then we have a conjunction, which is zero, neutral condition of state. And then we have non-tangible contract, not, which is a one, an adverb. And then when that's modifying for, which is non-tangible contract, into a verb. Now you may ask, well, what is that conjunction connecting or a bridge between? Well, it's a bridge between a one, three, four syntax scenario and a one, two syntax scenario. And then we have the, which is adverb, modifying liked into adjective, hearted, which is past tense pronoun again. Then we have adjective mortgages, adjective debts, adjective loans, adjective baptism, adjective slave, and pronoun trades. And because all of this is not correct, it's adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, you can actually look at the name. We have the colon, space, mark, hyphen, kishon, which in correct sentence structure, everything must start with a cause, a for the. But this individual starts it with an of the, which is not correct, and so therefore it's not correct sentence structure, and so mark, kishon is actually a pronoun, and then Christopher is also a pronoun, because they're both basically standing by themselves, separated by breaks in the continuance of the evidence. Next headline. This one comes from NPR and it's about health. And it says monkey butt cases, oh, I'm sorry, monkeypox cases are increasing, but it isn't easy to spread. I guess it's not like butter. Monkeypox is an adjective. Cases is an adjective. Are adjective. Increasing is a pronoun. But is a pronoun. It is an adverb. Isn't is an adjective. Easy is a pronoun. To is an adverb in the future tense. And spread is a dangling participle verb. So it's a good thing to have something easy to spread like butter. If it is something like butter, if you like butter or even jam or jelly. Or you can spread good news and things like that. But monkeypox cases 
are increasing, but they're not easy to spread. That's interesting. So, I mean, maybe people would be more open to spreading monkeypox cases. Uh, uh, I mean, a case if it was like a case of beer or something, you know. Uh, but as it stands, it's uh, something called monkeypox. So our final headline comes from the United States Department of Justice. Adverb. Adjective in the past tense. Pronoun. And because it's been centered, there's huge break in the continuance of the evidence between the United States and the Department of Justice. So Department of Justice would be pronoun, adverb, verb. Justice News. Adjective pronoun, Department of Justice, which I already told you what it was, Office of Public Affairs, pronoun, adverb, adjective, pronoun, for immediate release, adverb, adjective, pronoun, Tuesday would be a pronoun, June 28th would be adjective, pronoun, 2022 would be a pronoun. By the way, there are some individuals out there in this uh, quantum grammar domain who feel that they don't have the syntax numbers and they don't have to properly correctly position numbers with position lodial sets. If correct sentence structures about conveying facts and positioning facts correctly, and if numbers are facts, then why would they not be positioned correctly and why would they not be syntax in a fiction document? Are we going to ask our readers to assume that everybody knows what a number is? Remember, Correct sentence structure is void of assumption presumption. Therefore, numbers must be accounted for. They must be positioned and syntaxed. Otherwise, we're just assuming. U.S. citizen pleads guilty to conspiring to provide electronic equipment and technology to the government of Iran. Defendant conspired to illegally export U.S. goods and technology without Required export licenses. What is a license, ladies and gentlemen? A license is basically a permit that you pay for to do something that would otherwise be illegal or against the law. So it's basically something that's illegal, but because you paid money, now you can do it. Isn't that wonderful? Adjective, 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 pronoun. Adverb in the future tense, verb, adverb in the future tense, adjective, 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 conjunction, adjective. So the conjunction serves as a bridge between the two adjectives, carrying the modification forward. Then we have the future tense pronoun to, followed by the adverb, the government verb of adverb, Iran, verb which would also be dangling participle verb. Uh, defendant is adverb, conspired adverb in the past tense, to pronoun future tense, illegally, that L-Y deadens the tangibility of a word, so therefore it's an adverb modifying export into an adjective, U.S. adjective, goods, pronoun, and is a conjunction carrying or connecting the bridge between the two pronouns technology is a pronoun because it's followed by an adverb nothing can follow a pronoun except for an adverb or a break in the continuance of the evidence and in this case it's the former without adverb modifying required into an adjective in the past tense export is adjective and then licenses finish finishes up with the condition of state of four which is a pronoun Thank you very much for joining me for this edition of Now Space News. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments section. I appreciate your viewership. I hope everybody stays safe over this holiday weekend. However you celebrate 4th of July, if you do so, please be safe. And really, keep our feline and canine friends in mind when you do what you do. Peace.